my uh, screen pulled up here. This is the uh, Small Business Administration. This is like the nationwide website, right? So when you're on here, I think if you go to sba.gov, you'll probably land here and you wanna go to, there's this business guide and then there's funding programs, right? But under, <coughs> under business guide, uh, go ahead and mute yourself, please. Um, whoever that was, please mute. Um, you go to, let's see, I forgot where I was. I know like even at the basic levels of just launching your business, applying for all these licenses, but there's a tab somewhere on, oh yeah, on this side, here where it says grow your business, where it talks about, um, see this women owned business, native American owned business, veteran owned business, LGBT owned business, rural minority owned business. So I say, all right, um, I'm a minority. Boom, I come here and there's so much services that the US government has readily and available that a lot of us are not tuning into and we're getting sold and we're, we're hiring high ticket coaches for tens of thousands of dollars on a hope and prayer that I'll have the wherewithal to do it. And I gotta tell you, there is free, valuable resources right here that you can at least in the beginning, I got nothing against the gurus. I love them. I'm a guru myself. That's what they, you know, that that's eventually what happens. So I got nothing against gurus, high ticket coaches. I myself provide high ticket servicing. Got nothing against it. The issue is if you got no money and then you throw it on a PayPal account in 0% six months and then expect results within two, you're setting an unrealistic expectation where you could have gone to the source. <laughs> and the source in this case is the US government providing these opportunities. So there's counseling and training, funding programs. You just start clicking on these links and see where it sends you. Now, I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I've done myself, right? Where I'm engaging in this process myself and what it looks like. And there is some preliminary cost involved in this, but when the things that you're paying for is things that you're gonna have like forever in your business. If you plan on being in business 20, 30, 40 years, this is phenomenal stuff to have. So this is what in my county, this is what the website looks like. So if you're in South Florida, it'd be Brower.org, right? Or, or whatever your county is, .org. And same thing, certification programs, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if I wanna become a small business enterprise in Broward County, south florida they give me a whole checklist right here they say here you go get these things in line corporate federal tax returns for previous three years front page only or or if you're a sole proprietorship um copies of your individual tax return schedule c for the past three years anybody can produce that right copy of all broward county and municipal business tax receipts previously called occupational licenses so i'm pretty sure Alex has certain licenses that he had to obtain to, to do business. And he was saying earlier how there's businesses that don't. So if you don't require a specific license, you don't have to worry about that. Now, there is a specific, uh, what's called a business tax receipt, right? And that's right here. Um, and I'll show you guys what that exactly looks like. I'll pull up my Adobe right here. So this is a Broward County local business tax receipt, right? Here you see the the finance geek, that's my DBA. That's my fictitious name, right? Here's the business name, builder to contributor, right? Owner, boom, address, ba ba ba, right? All this stuff. And you can see the, the fee to get the Broward County tax receipt. This is what a legitimate Broward County tax receipt looks like. So in your state, it'll have a, a similar version of that, right? So you'll have to get that. Then it says copies of all state and or county competency Com comp oh, can't even say the word, professional licenses, right? Boom, up-to-date, detailed resumes of all owners. Now this, I haven't wrote a resume in six years because I've been in business before and the last job I had, I had it for two and a half years. So I got my girlfriend helping me with that because I was like, babe, uh, how do you write a resume? I forgot. That's what happens when you become an entrepreneur. You don't gotta, you don't gotta uh, provide a resume, but you do for the government. That's the biggest, biggest customer. Then it says copy of your current lease for business location if business is not home based. So my business technically is home based. I'm recording in my uh, uh, apartment, but my business location is a separate address. So I give them that. And then it says copies of three contracts, sales, invoices, or service agreements. Now that's super easy to uh, for me to get and 
people like Shinora, who we, we're constantly, you know, writing invoices for clients that we take on. So this is like a simple checklist. And there's a department in your county that you can call and they'll specifically walk you through the whole entire process, right? And that's something that I'm working on myself. In addition, um, as you're gathering all these documents, it is a tedious task, okay? By no means is this a short-term fix, but this is a long-term solution to get access to high paying jobs, right? Imagine doing what you love on a very big scale. And if you can't do the job, you can subcontract it out because of your keys. You got the keys to the kingdom of the US in terms of their particular process. They got a process. The kingdom has a process. Talk with Nick, right? The church has a process, same thing. US government, they got a process, right? Um, so uh, in addition to getting those things, there's something that you have to do, you have to become a vendor, right? And when you become a vendor, there's this site called Periscope or used to be called BidSync. Um, and that's where you see all the different jobs right here. So this is what it looks like. Um, so it's called Periscope something. I'll be sure to copy and paste these links for you guys in the chat. But uh, look at these jobs, right? If you're a regular business owner, you don't have access to this. You won't see this, right? But when you get the, you, when you even just start the process, you become a vendor with the US government. Once I obtain the proper certification, I can go ahead and bid on a particular job that I see here, right? And then you're able to um, coordinate uh, certain settings to show certain jobs, right? So this is, what is this? Financial feasible consulting services, independent contractor finance. Like basically I just put a search for anything finance um, and then go from there. Third party administration of HSA, HRA and FSA. That has to do with those health insurance savings accounts. Financial consulting services, County of Orange, California. So I'm like, huh, financial consulting services, don't I do that for a living? You know, imagine not having to go and find and market yourself to go get leads, to go make sales, to make an irresistible offer and yada, yada, where you can just have access and get the job, right? And then you bid on it and you get paid at a very, very, very high level. In addition to doing this, right? Here's the beautiful part. When you set your business up accordingly with the correct uh, processes that the US government has in place, when, when people look you up on the internet, you pop up page one, right? So if you were to type in builder to contributor LLC on your Google search, you will most likely see me. Or if you typed in the finance geek, you will most likely see me on the first page of Google, more, most likely. So not only does this help you on the back end, having all these necessary documents and, and, and certifications and, and papers and all that stuff in play, but then it also helps you on the marketing standpoint. So you're attacking on two fronts. You're working with the biggest customer in the world, which is the US government, and then you can work with people that you market to when you get on social media and all those good things. So 